Good afternoon, happy travelers. Greetings from Iceland, yay! We arrived yesterday. We were a little bit of uh, human zombies. Wait, are all zombies human? Anyway, we spent this morning working in our hotel because we only had one thing we wanted to do today. And that is visit the new Icelandic volcano. We have driven to the little village of Grindavik, which is uh, nearest to the volcano, and we're going to get some lunch. The hike starts about 10 minutes outside of Grindavik, and they said plan lots of time to stay there and be mesmerized by the lava. So we're gonna eat lunch here and get some food to take with us. So we'll plan to have dinner at the volcano which is a super cool thing to say. <laughs> we also picked up a sandwich. We have a few other snacks packed and our plan is to kind of just eat some lighter things while we're up there. We made it to Volcano Parking. So we drove about 10 minutes east of the village of Grindavik. It's very near to the Blue Lagoon and pretty close to the airport as well. So it's extremely accessible for anyone coming in and also from Reykjavik. They've created a really nice parking area. There's actually two different parking areas that you can go to from what we're told. The two different routes that you can hike from the parking areas are about the same distance. They've set up porta potties at one of them. I didn't see the other one, so that's nice. And they've also kind of created the trails as well. So they don't want people just hiking like willy nilly over the volcanic terrain. They have these very specific routes and also from noon until late, like 11 p.m. or something like that, they have Icelandic search and rescue and scientists out there. So you have people out there telling you like, what is safe, what's not safe. So that makes me feel a little bit better anyway. We have a very healthy respect for volcanoes. We're excited, but also slightly nervous, but mostly excited. The hike is about an hour, hour and a half. So let's get going. Let's do it. for about 20 minutes so far and it's been relatively flat but we're coming up to a pretty steep grade in the trail. Getting warm, shedding layers. So it is very, very windy here, and we're doing our best to try to get some audio, but it's been really hard. We got a great view of the volcano when we first came up, but it was blowing like crazy, so we couldn't really talk about it there. And as many layers as we took off on the way up, we've put more back on. Yeah, as soon as we stopped moving, it got really, really cold. So. And the wind picked up at the top of the ridge. My face is frozen. I can't hardly even get the words out. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely very cold and windy. A land of fire and ice. Yeah, but what a great start to the trip, huh? Woo! I mean, crazy. The trail continues along the backside of the ridge and goes to the main lava field. So that's where we're headed right now. So behind us in this valley is the new lava flow. This volcano has been erupting for about six weeks, so this is six weeks older or less, which is so cool. It looks like you can hike up another ridge and get a better view of the crater with the lava coming out, which is where we're going now. That's the ridge line we came up first. Ooh. Crazy. Alright, going up there. I can up here right now, you can actually just hear the volcano roaring on the other side of this hill. Can't wait. Wow. This is incredible. 
It is extremely windy and cold. We've been up here for probably almost an hour now. Man, it's incredible. It's so windy, but it's, it's, <laughs> the wind, the wind comes, it kind of knocks you over. Yeah. But look at that. I've been here for several hours on top of this ridge, taking every manner of photo and video of the volcano that we can possibly think of, and also just like watching it because we want to remember it. Yeah, it was really windy on the other side, but there's a lot of people that are just sitting right here where it's kind of a little more sheltered, and it's just yeah. it's just a show. People are just watching. It's hard to look away. It's it's pretty mesmerizing for sure. Especially now, the light's getting a little dimmer. You can see the glow better. Ugh, incredible. It's now 7.40. We got to the trailhead at about 20 after three, so we've been here for several hours. It stays light pretty late this time of year, so I'm not sure what time we'll head back, but we are just having a great time watching it, even though we're freezing cold. <laughs> here for a long time. We're gonna head down, uh, check out the lava flow, and then I guess head back to the car. We're both frozen. Yeah, we've been up here for like at least five hours now. Yeah, it's been a while. Probably three times as many people here now as there were when we got yeah, here. I think all of Iceland showed up for sunset. Everyone's coming here for sunset for the lower light because you can see the, uh, the lava pretty well. It does feel good, oh, doesn't it? so good. It is nice and warm over here. So I brought something from home. 
just in case. I told myself I wouldn't do it unless it felt very safe. And I've gotten over here and there's co people cooking hot dogs and baked potatoes and all sorts of different things on here. So I'm gonna check this one off the bucket list. Roasting a marshmallow on molten lava. definitely some heat coming off of it. It's not going to take long. Oh yeah. Probably the best marshmallow I've ever had. <laughs> The heat from the lava rejuvenated us a little bit. We're going on another little bit of a hike below the ridge that we were on earlier. See if we can get another vantage point of the volcano. Okay, here we go again. We thought we were leaving. We didn't say goodbye and everything. <laughs> Still, yes. I can hear uh, the search and rescue with their beeping gas meters, so it's okay. So somehow, I don't know how, we got to be sent here. There are tons and tons of people there now. I guess seeing the volcano when it gets dark is a lot better. Yeah. It looks really cool, but we don't want to stay any longer. So I, I heard that they normally close everything at 9 p.m., but I think it's, everything's open until 11 p.m. on the weekends, or at least tonight it is. So we still have about an hour hike back down, so we're going to try to do that before the sun really goes down. Ready to go. So it took us about an hour to get back to the car, but we finally made it and we are both so dead. My body hurts a lot. Yeah, that was a really awesome day, but we are very tired. All in all, I think we were at that volcano for about eight hours. Yeah, it was pretty mesmerizing, but yeah. we're super exhausted. So we're gonna end this video here. But be sure to subscribe because we have a lot more adventures coming your way in Iceland. Tomorrow we pick up a camper van and we'll be taking two weeks to drive the ring road. This is Kelly and Kevin from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. We are in our home for the next two weeks here in Iceland. Wow, this is so cool. Good morning, happy travelers. Good afternoon. That's right. It's a, <laughs> today we, yeah. Let's start that over. Why are we so bad at this? I don't know. We we're still jet lagged. Get your motor running. Get out on the highway. <laughs> Looking for volcanoes. <laughs>